Hi, I'm Stephanie from Crosscut Sewing, and today I'm going to show you how to do some hand sewing. I get mixed reactions in my classes when I tell students that they have to hand sew. Some don't mind it and some roll their eyes, but I think once you master this stitch, you will enjoy doing it. So the reason that we have to hand sew is because sometimes we have something like a pillow that has an opening that we love to either stuff it or turn it right side out. And if we sewed this on the machine, the stitches would show. So we do, we use the ladder stitch so that our stitches are invisible. So I have my pillow and my needle and thread, and I'm using this thicker red thread so that you can see it, but you would just use regular thread that matches your project. The first thing I did was thread the needle and now I want to tie a knot at the end and I am going to leave this tail free. So you can just tie a knot. You might have to, if your thread is thin, you might have to do this a few times. All right, and then I don't want this to show, so I'm going to hide it by starting on the inside and coming out like this so that that will be tucked on the inside. I'm going to get this started a little bit because I think it'll be easier for you to see. Oops. I like to start where my machine stitches already were. That way I know it's going to be secure and there won't be any little holes. Okay, now you can see this a little better now that I have a few stitches in there um, and this is kind of what they look like. So let me show you how to, how to do this. So I'm on the pink and I'm gonna go over to the white. Now, if I went like this and went through both layers, my thread will show. So I'm just gonna take my needle and go through one layer of that white fabric and take a little stitch like this. And then I'm going to go back over to the pink and do the same thing like that. And you can see why they call it the ladder stitch. You can kind of see how that looks like a ladder. And when you pull it, these stitches don't show. So this is a great stitch to know for projects like this, but it's also a great way to patch things up and it's actually really useful on patching up stuffed animals or things like that as well. So when I get to the end here, so you can see how you wouldn't even be able to see those stitches. So when I get to the end, I'm just going to tie a couple of knots and then I don't want to cut my thread and leave it hanging. So I'm going to bury this by just going right in here and pulling it out through there. And then And then that way, the thread is hidden in my project. And now I have a nice invisible stitch. And that's it. It only takes a few minutes and it makes your project look great. So thanks for watching and happy hand sewing.